Okay, in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with using Scratch. And I'm going to be using the Maze Blast Game Scratch Guide Part 1 that is located in your Google Classroom documents. And the first thing I want to do is when you are in Onshape, you're going to want to click on the Create button at the top. And once you click Create, it's going to bring you to the screen you see here. And there's a couple of things that I just want to get familiar with, and that is the workspace, which is this area right here. That's where your code will be written. I also want to show you where this large cat is. That's called the preview area, and that's going to show what your final result will look like to the person who is running your program. And I also want to bring your attention down here to where the stage menu is. And uh, clicking this menu is going to allow you to write code for the stage or the background, change the look of it, or add sounds to it. And we'll get into that in just another minute. And the next thing I want to show you is the sprites menu, located down here in the bottom right side of your screen. This area is going to display the objects in our program that will move or that will have some kind of interaction. Uh, in our example here, we have a cat. So let's take a look at this menu where the sprites are located. Okay, the first thing you want to keep in mind is if you want to make changes to a sprite, it needs to be selected. So in this case, you'll see that the cat here is selected, and I can um, work on that sprite when it's selected. And you'll know it's selected when it's highlighted in blue. Okay, so right now what I want to do is I want to I want to name my sprite. So right now you can see in this name window where it says sprite one, that is the default name that it's going to give your sprite. So what I'd like to do right now is change the name. I'm just going to click in the box and I'm going to type the word cat in that window. Okay, now you'll notice that down here where the sprite is highlighted in blue, the name changed to cat. Okay, now I want to talk about the sprite's location. And you'll notice that on this um, preview window here, we have an XY coordinate system. And that gives us the X and Y coordinates of the, uh, of the cat. So I can click in the XY boxes here, and I can actually change the coordinates on this, and it will actually take my cat to those very coordinates. For example, if I typed in the X location, negative 180, and I hit enter, it's going to actually take my cat to that location. So if your screen does not have anything on the preview screen, no XY coordinate, you can change the backdrop by simply going over here to where it says choose a backdrop. If you click on that, and you scroll your way all the, all the way to the bottom, you will find the XY grid is right here. If you click on it, then when you go back, it'll show up for you. Now that we have a, a location for our, for our cat, you can actually click on the cat and move it anywhere. And you'll notice that in the XY windows at the bottom, it'll actually change those numbers. So try to move your, your cat somewhere in this location here. Uh, I'm more of a perfectionist, so I'm going to change it to negative 180 and 0. And hit enter, and that's where it places my cat. Now what I want to do is write a code that moves our cat to a desired location. So we're going to start by placing the cat where you want it. And at this time, what you want to do is make a note of your XY coordinates. So I'm going to write down on a, on a piece of scrap paper, negative 180 and 0. So we want our sprite to appear on the left side of the screen when, when we start to run our program. So just like any uh, animation or video game you might play, um, when you hit start, it goes to a starting point. So what we want to do is we want to we want to start to create a program um, that starts when the green flag 
as you see there's a green flag here when the green flag is clicked so in order to do that we need to go to the events on the left side of your screen you have all these different categories the first one we want to see is events and we want to find the one that says when the green flag is clicked and we want to bring that out to our workspace Okay, now that we have when the green flag is clicked, we want to begin our code. Now we want to get the action that goes with it. So we want the sprite to go to an exact spot. So we need to go to the left side of the screen under where it says motions. Click on motions. Okay, in the motions menu, you're going to want to choose one that says go to X, Y. And that is located right here. So if you bring that out and snap it to when the green flag is clicked, this is what you should see. These coordinates need to be the place where you want your cat to go when you start running your program. So make sure that these numbers match the numbers you wrote down uh, in the last step that we just did. So just to test this out and make sure that it works okay, you can click in the preview area and actually drag your cat to another location anywhere in the preview area. And when you click that green flag right above it, you'll notice that it goes right back to the starting location where you asked it to go based on your program. I told it to go to negative 180 and 0, and that's where it goes every time I hit the green flag. Okay, in the next step, what we're going to be doing is uh, making a basic level for our program and add some simple things to make our project look more polished and finished. So that's it for this video segment. I'll see you on the next one.